This is how to get started with Grammarly's generative AI co-creator, Grammarly Go. First things first, to use Grammarly Go, all you have to do is get Grammarly. Just hop to Grammarly.com and sign up. We've got generative AI in every plan, but you get more with premium and business plans. Once you've installed Grammarly for your desktop and added our Chrome extension, you should see this nifty light bulb sitting next to the Grammarly icon. This is where you can generate text with Grammarly Go. The light bulb is right in the apps and websites you already use. No exiting your workspace and breaking your flow to get AI support somewhere else. Grammarly Go is right there with you. Before you start writing, here's a pro tip. I recommend you set up your voice profile. This is one of the ways Grammarly Go uses your unique context to personalize the writing you generate. You can find your voice profile by clicking here. Select your preferred formality, tones, and professional role, and all that context will follow you so the emails, messages, posts, and docs you create are more authentic and more effective. Now you're ready to co-create. Writing with AI starts with a prompt. Prompt Grammarly Go in this text box. The more detail, the better. And you've got a draft just like that. You can also follow up if you want to tweak what you generate. And when you're ready, click Insert. A cool way Grammarly Go gets you to better generated writing is through suggested prompts. Grammarly Go has hundreds of suggested prompts that you see based on your unique context. Click on a suggested prompt, add the relevant info, and Grammarly Go uses even more intelligence to help you generate high quality, relevant writing. Another way to prompt Grammarly Go is by selecting text. When you highlight, you'll see two buttons pop up. Clicking this button instantly improves what you've highlighted. Clicking the light bulb lets you prompt Grammarly Go to rewrite it however you want. For example, I'll type, make this sound more inspirational. Clicking insert replaces your highlighted text with your new and improved text. Another pro tip, you're not just limited to rewriting and composing, but you can also ideate with Grammarly Go. Just write a prompt like, give me ideas for marketing my taco truck, and Grammarly Go will jumpstart your creative process. You can ideate to get new ideas, create outlines, and get help brainstorming. The list goes on. I've found this is a really good way to break myself out of writer's block. You'll have a set number of prompts that you can use monthly, and that number depends on your Grammarly account. Premium accounts get more prompts per month than free accounts, plus some extra goodies like suggestions for clarity, tone, and vocab. You can check how many prompts you have left in the top right corner of Grammarly Go. That's everything you need to know to get started with Grammarly Go. Visit grammarly.com slash go to learn more about how to elevate your writing with generative AI. Thanks for watching, now go write.